All right, people, what's up, everyone? And welcome to another reaction video for today. I know more. And this time I'm taking a look at the official trailer for The Protégé, which is a movie starring Maggie Q, who I feel like I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who I feel like I haven't seen in at least 12 to 14 minutes. And Michael Keaton, who I, uh, I just, uh, I, I love to see him. Uh, I love to see Samuel L. Jackson, too. But um, Samuel L. Jackson is a lot of shit. <laughs> He's in like 30 movies this year. Jesus. Um, hey, he's, he's working. He's working. He's working. That's good. Um, anyway, and Mike Keaton's in it. Cool. Um, I don't know anything about it. Just saw the trailer got posted and uh, Maggie Q with a gun. Let's find out why. I mean, she's the protege, I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, maybe like a Leon the Professional kind of thing going on? I don't know. No, she's not a little girl, so that doesn't make any sense. All right. I just, the protege sounds like something you would hear. I think there was actually a sequel in the works called something like that. I think it was supposed to be called Matilda, not the protege, but it had like a, some, I don't know, the professional, the protege, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's go. Green band. The fuck? Come on, man. Fucking. Give me red. I want to see blood. Most I'm a grown man. Good. Oh, there he is. Some people are bad. <laughs> Gift. Okay. So get in and get out. Whoa! Whoa! That's a real stunt. Someone did that. I always think on your feet anyway. Not so much tonight. Okay, okay. You sent away so many prematurely. <laughs> so he's an assassin, I guess. Is he the same character for Hitman's Bodyguard? Oh, I love that. We all have to pay for our sins eventually. Uh, okay, so Samuel Jackson's not in the movie for much. Okay. Oh, that shot looks very John Wick. She's not gonna run. She's gonna lick her wounds, and she's coming after us. Michael <laughs> Keaton. Oh, really? Nice. Uh, I forgot his name. Someone Shit. killed a friend of mine because of a contract he completed years ago. Oh, yeah? You know he's dead, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's got the... The answers will be the last thing you ever say. Whoa. Whoa. Why don't you just consider it a mystery best left unsolved? Oh, Michael, can you go fight her? Hell yeah. You keep this up. I think he's looking good, though. And anyone standing in my way. Whoa! Oh, he's fighting! Look at this! What? Oh, You're hey. By her. Curious. <laughs> what? Come on now. Really? He has bad manners. No. <laughs> see you again under different circumstances these are the best circumstances you'll ever see me in <laughs> okay august 20th okay i'm just surprised i mean obviously it's a stunt double but um there's a couple shots there that was michael keaton doing some of that stuff um that looks fun uh, and they they definitely want to build up that action John Wick universe kind of thing. I, not that this is going to be in the John Wick universe, but like they keep putting it from the producer John Wick. They're going to keep making these movies, and I love it. I love that John Wick was so popular that they could say, hey, I'm the guy that produced John Wick. Can we make a movie where there's some actually good acting with some great stunt work? I love that. It's amazing. Even if you don't like the John Wick movies, which I know there's some people out there that don't, which, okay, okay. Some people really don't like the third one. I guess because it goes a little too over the top. I don't like it. I don't give a fuck. Um, I don't care, really. John Wick 1, it's kind of like a Fast and Furious situation where you have Fast and Furious, the Fast and the Furious, sorry, that's still grounded. John Wick was pretty grounded for the most part. And then you watch the third movie and it's like, it's definitely more insane, I guess. Not, not quite Fast and Furious insane, but you know, John Wick's not driving a car out of a building into another building and then doing it again. And then also Batmaning his car around the fucking mountain. So, you know. Not yet, at least. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I, 
action looks good. Uh, the story seems familiar but interesting. Someone's cinematography looks good. Yeah, it looks solid. It's from Casino Royale guy. I forgot his name. His name's like Martin Campbell. That's his name. Um, I I just read it. That's why I know that. Um. Yeah, so, cool. I think, what was the last movie he did? Did he do Green Lantern? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I think I think he did Green Lantern. Let's see. Did he do Green Lantern? Did you do it? Yeah, he did it. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he knows what he did. Uh, oh, he didn't, oh my god. He hasn't directed a, like a, oh, the foreigner. He did the foreigner. Which was uh, actually pretty decent. I like that one. Jackie Chan. Um, uh, besides that, though, he hasn't done too, too many. He did TV movies. Warriors? What was that? Okay. <laughs> uh, Reckless. That's Stephen Lang in it. I like that guy. He did Edge of Darkness. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, that sucks. He hasn't done a lot of other stuff. He did GoldenEye, which is great. That's another good Bond movie. Not Daniel Craig, obviously, but still really good. Oh, it's right there. Durr. Anyway, well, there you go. Uh, looks fun. Looks fun. Protégé. So there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.